Hi guys, um, today I was going to do a tutorial on resin casting, you know, I bought my resin and my hardener and my dye and all that stuff, but the store that I bought it from, which, you know, I usually buy my resin from, was out of stock on releasing agent, so I guess that that tutorial is just not going to happen today. <sighs> yeah, bummer, hey? Okay, instead I'm going to do a tutorial on how to draft patterns for tunics, cloaks, t-shirts, coats, pretty much anything of that shape that you wear in your upper body. It's the easiest pattern to draft, so I figure I would do it first. Um, the first thing you're going to need is a t-shirt. I just drew mine so you can see it properly on camera, but preferably you want a real t-shirt that you actually wear. So, um, yeah, uh, tip on the fit, if you want the final costume to be like a tight-fitted blazer or a tight-fitted coat, um, get a tighter-fitted t-shirt, but if you want to make something looser or baggier, like a looser-fitting t-shirt or a tunic, then get a baggier t-shirt, obviously. The second thing you're going to want is a measuring tape, you know, uh, his best friend. Then you want a pair of scissors, your pattern paper, I'm just going to use this to show you, okay, so that's my pattern paper, cool, and something to draw your pattern with, you don't have to use a marker, use a pencil, I'm just using a marker because it will show up better on camera, but yeah, do whatever you want. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your t-shirt and you're just going to fold it in half so that all the sides line up really nicely and the sleeves are lined up and the bottom is lined up. So you basically have half a shirt, right? Okay, cool. The next thing that you're going to want to do is take your pattern paper and put the folded end of the shirt against the edge of the pattern paper. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is just trace the t-shirt but do not trace the sleeve. So when it comes to the sleeve, when you hit the bottom of the sleeve, just make kind of like an indented like C shape up to the top of the shoulder and then carry on tracing as normal. So at the end you should have something that looks like this. Cool. So you can see my inverted C shape, so I don't have a sleeve, but everything else is there. The shoulder, the neckline, the side, the bottom. Cool. The reason why you only want half a pattern is because you cut this from the fold of the material. Um, so say that this is your folded material, okay? That's that's the two folds. Now you've cut the pattern out of the material. When you open it up, you'll have two perfectly symmetrical sides so that everything will fit and nothing will be skew or weird and it can all sew nicely and be amazing. Okay, so you want to make that half a shirt. Okay, that's really simple. Like. A monkey could do it, let's be honest. The next thing that you want to do is make your sleeve because unless you're making like a tank top, which if you are making a tank top you can just stop now, you've, you're good. But if you want to make sleeves then the next thing you need to do is take your tape measure and you want to measure around your arm so you get the circumference of your arm and you want to measure from your shoulder so like whatever shirt you're wearing now, measure where the sleeve is to where you want your sleeve to be. So once you have those two measurements, um, you need to just add on to them a little bit because obviously you don't want it like sausaging your arm and then you can't move. So what you want to do is to the circumference, if you're making something tight fitted, you want your circumference plus 10 centimeters. If you're making something, well, this just works for me. Some people make it smaller. Some people only use 8 centimeters. Some people use 12. I, I don't know. I, I use 10 because that's what I'm comfortable with. But you can play around and find what you're comfortable with. Um, and then if you want to make a baggier sleeve, you can literally fit as much as you want. If you're going to make a huge, like, puff sleeve, make it big. If you're going to make a tight, like, like a looser sleeve like this, make it big. If you're going to make a tight sleeve, you know, just fiddle around with the sizes a bit. And then, of course, for the length, you're going to have to add on an extra inch or two for your seam allowance. Okay, cool. Um, I'm, doing an, I'm, I'm doing another tutorial on how to do puff sleeves. So 
do not use this method of making sleeves to make puff sleeves. It's just not going to work. It'll be horrible. Just believe me. Okay, so then, um, once you have those measurements, you want to take the circumference that you've worked out, plus however many centimeters you or inches you've added, depending on what you work with. And then you want to divide that by two. Okay, so that is how long, that's how thick you need to make the top to the bottom of the sleeve. And then obviously the length is what you want to measure, plus one or two inches, depending on how big you want your seam, is will be like the length of the sleeve that way. This is not very good explaining, I'm so sorry. Anyway, so basically, once you've got those measurements, you can draw out your sleeve like this. This, the top of this will also be put against the fold, which is why this is only half the measurement of your sleeve from top to bottom. So remember, this is the circumference plus however many centimeters you want, divided by two. And then that's just your length across. Please learn this shape. This is the shape of a sleeve. Okay, because it goes over your shoulder and under your armpit. I sometimes see people drawing sleeves with like straight lines on the end, or like curves on the end that like go no, that just won't work. Just learn the shape. Oh, but cool. Please keep that in mind. Okay, so then what you want to do is you, yeah, basically, there you've got your pattern. So now what you want to do is you just want to cut those pieces out. And, you know, cut them out of your fabric and start sewing together. That's literally all you need for, you know, if you want to make something with a longer sleeve, obviously just make it longer. And if you want to make... One side opens, so you have buttons running down or something, just cut one of your things in half down the middle. Like, it's it's pretty simple. So this is really is just the easiest one to make, obviously, for obvious reasons, because there's only two pieces. So yeah, I don't really have much else to say on the subject. So I'm going to go sleep, because I was up really late last night, which is why I'm so down right now. Why I have these huge bags around my eyes. So yeah, bye.